Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. I'm Mark Robliner, and in um, 2013, I earned my NABA Pro Card. And I competed in one pro show, and I got second place. Pretty proud of that. Now, my Pro Card has expired. If you don't use it in two years, it expires. So, ah, I turn 40 next year. November of 2020, I turned 40 years old. I plan on competing in the Masters Nationals, of course, after qualifying for it, assuming I do well, to not only regain a pro card, but to actually get an IFBB pro card. Now, why am I doing this? I just feel like it. I think there's a lot of things, a lot of goals I haven't accomplished, and one of them is I want to be an IFBB pro, and honestly, I think I can do it. I think I can balance everything, and I'm confident that I can bring something to the stage that'll be special. If you guys have seen my pictures online on Instagram, you'll know that I bring conditioning like no other year round. I'm 221 pounds right now. I haven't bulked since 2012. In that time, I've done an amateur boxing fight. I box three times a week, sparring probably twice a week. I usually lose, so I'm used to taking a punch. But I'm motivated by a lot of things. One, is I want to prove to my kids, put your mind to something, you can do whatever you want to do. Number two, I want to make health first and foremost. I want people to know that this whatever it takes mentality isn't necessary. You can get by and still be healthy and still walk around and still enjoy life, be a good family man and run your businesses without sacrificing everything for the bodybuilding stage. Also, one of my close, close dear friends, Tracy, was a victim of a heinous assault. And if you go down below, you'll see the GoFundMe for Tracy Otto. I've done a video on this. Read about it. I don't want to talk about it right now. Not in this video. We will later. I am dedicating this entire prep for a year and a half to raise money and awareness, not only for Tracy's cause, but for domestic abuse and violence in general. You'll notice some stories I'm going to tell throughout this process about myself, you know, um, being very close to someone who is a victim of sexual assault. You're going to hear stories about people in the industry who are physically abusive towards females. You're going to hear a lot of different things. I won't name names, of course. But I think we need to bring awareness to this, and men need to step up and be men and let other men and women as well know there is no place for domestic violence. I hope you enjoy this vlog. Some of what I said right now will be redundant to what I say throughout this video. This episode, we talk about some awesome things. We talk about why I'm doing it. We get a good back workout at home. We talk about my business. We talk about why I'm doing it. We talk about Tracy. We talk about, well, life. We go to the grocery store. We buy some grass-fed beef. It's just a fun time, man. We make some sweet potatoes. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. It's going to be going on till around July of 2021, so I hope you like it. And if you don't, watch it anyway. I can use the YouTube money. And that's not a game. What a better time to start my road to regaining my pro card than now. Black Friday, TigerFitness.com, we smashed all of our previous records. It was an amazing time. Um, I'm operating in the last two days on about four and a half, five hours of sleep, and I'm feeling great. If you saw my picture that I posted on Instagram from last night or today, whichever one you want to look at, I'm in the best shape of my life. Just a couple days ago, I started actually increasing my calories. I'm actually following a program where I am counting my macros. I always told people when I start counting my macros, it means I'm on my way to a comeback and that's never going to happen. Well, <clears throat> this is one of those cases where you got to never say never. Look, I got something to prove, and I'm motivated, and I think I still got it. I could do this in a healthy fashion, and throughout this vlog today, you need to watch it. I'm actually, I ate my last meal last night at around 11 p.m. Since I'm going to be home, I have the time change. I've decided to not eat until I get home and re resume my schedule for Central Standard Time on my normal waking and sleeping hours. But over the course of this vlog, I'm going to tell you how many macros I'm going to eat, I'm going to tell you my training methodology and what I'm going to do as far as boxing and training and weights and all that. Um, I'm also going to let you in on, I did 
um, enlist the help of a third eye to look in. Now, I have a good friend who's an attorney who said the worst client you could ever have is yourself. That's why I know guys who are attorneys who have other business interests who never represent themselves in business matters. I am not objective with my own body. I'm not objective with my own physique. I'm actually very hard on myself and I overreact. So what I am doing is I am enlisting the help from a, a gentleman that I um, really respect. He's not a very well-known guy. He's not a Hanny Rombot. He's not a Dave Palumbo. But as far as how the body works and also dealing with longevity, he's the best there is, well, other than myself, and that is uh, Alex Kickle. Alex Kickle is an amazing individual. I'm going to give you more information on him. But um, I actually, he reached out to me because we've been friends for a while. He said, bro, and I've had a couple people reach out to me. I'm going to be honest here. And I, I'm like, you know what? I got this. But I've decided that if I'm going to do this right, I would like someone to just give me that objective kind of overview and work with me in bringing together a package that will be unbeatable. So the plans are, and I don't want to talk too much in here because the volume's not good. Um, it's dark outside. So you got weird lighting and obviously the background noise of the car. But, you know, I, I, I'm basically, my goal is my show will be, my pro qualifier will be the Masters Nationals in 2021. I will be 40 years old competing in the 40 plus division. So my goal is to sometime in early 2021 qualify and then follow it up with the Masters Nationals in, um, in I believe it's gonna be in July it's usually in July, and that's my goal. So I've been a NABA pro before, but nah, it's time to go for the IFBB pro card. So it's gonna be a great vlog. It's gonna be a great thing that we're after right here. I'm gonna document a lot of my meals, not all of them, because my wife gets really upset. I'm gonna document a lot of my training, go over my training split, and hopefully give you guys some ideas into you know, what it is you can do to help, well, um, reach your goals. I'm also going to go fully de uh, delve into my HRT. So I'm going to do separate videos on those. But the focus of today is just starting it off. And I might throw in some training today. I mean, I'm going to be going to the gym with my wife later today. And um, hopefully we can get some, uh, hopefully we can have some good times, man. And hopefully we can learn a lot while we're at it. So this is my favorite meal. I'll probably have this, I don't know, probably four or five times a day sometimes. So I got the new pancakes and syrup MTS way, which is absolutely delicious, right? And um, put a scoop of that, so that's 25 grams of protein, right? Then we just came out with this Pervitam Collagen. If you guys don't know, this is my brand with Kara Cori. So there's nine grams of protein per cigar. Collagen is really awesome. Joint health, skin, hair. As you age, you lose collagen in your body. So you lose elasticity. This is unflavored and in my opinion actually enhances the flavor of the whey. It's fantastic. So I make a sludge out of it. I use this unsweetened almond milk, right? Put it in there. Just a little bit. Make a little sludge. Now the pancakes and syrup. Oh my God, is that next level. Dude, you combine that with the collagen, the texture. I'm at home. That was a long drive. Anyway, I want to just outline a little of my prep, what we're going to do in this whole like day in the life vlog type thing. I'm trying to come up with a name. Hopefully I have a good title by the time I publish this. Um, you know, like Rich Piana's Bigger by the Day, except, well, I don't know if that, I can't steal that one. That would be wrong. But anyway, um, I wanted to go over kind of like the whole premise of this. We're not going to do every meal. That gets really old real quick for all of us. But I will show you some of my favorite meals day to day. Um, you know, some on the go meals, some tips, and I'll tell you what I ate and I'll even post the macros on the screen as I eat. So essentially my macros right now are 350 grams of carbohydrate, 250 grams of protein and 100 grams of fat. Um, <clears throat> that includes everything. It's a macro countdown. I'm counting every calorie. I'm not dieting. So I will be within five to 10% give or take. But that is the macro lineup. My training, boxing probably two times a week in addition to weight training every day, squats every day. I train a lot. I'm very active. I do a lot of activity. Um, 
In this vlog, I will be showing a lot of my training. I will be documenting a lot of what I do. I'm gonna give a recap every night of how I feel and what I'm doing. I would like to take this seriously and I would also like to use this vlog as a way to bring attention to a huge issue we have. For those of you who follow me on Instagram and for those of you who even follow me here, my good friend Tracy Otto was um, attacked brutally. Um, I'll post her GoFundMe down below. And I just visited her in the hospital. She was a victim of domestic violence slash domestic abuse. And the story is heinous. And she's honestly the sweetest person you will ever meet in your life. And so what I'm doing is I'm using this for the next year and a half to bring attention to domestic abuse, domestic violence. In our industry, in the sport, nutrition, fitness industry, a lot of your favorite Instagrammers, a lot of your favorite people you follow, a lot of them are woman beaters. They are. In our industry, it's not really surprising to hear a girl got beat up by some other fitness guy some other fitness person. Um, we heard about the alleged Buendia issue, right? That's just, that's just the tip of the iceberg, man. That's just scratching the surface. I don't know if it's this industry or society in general, but it's something that I feel powerless. Like I want to find the person who did this to Tracy. And yes, if you're wondering, he is facing four life sentences behind bars. And as you know, in prison, they usually, people who do that kind of crime don't last very long. Um, I want to end his life. And I'm powerless. I can't do that. I can't take this into my own hands. That would probably be a bad idea to begin with. So what I'm doing is I'm using this platform as a way to bring attention to domestic abuse to domestic violence, to sexual abuse, to sexual violence. Those are all things that I, when I was a child, I was exposed to, not personally, but a very a person very, very close to me was the victim of, well, sexual assault. So for me, this is my cause. This is what I'm doing. So I want you to go to that GoFundMe down below, check it out. But I'm gonna end this here because we're gonna have a lot of different things. I'm gonna do a specific video about Tracy again. I'm gonna do a specific video about my training, specific video about my HRT. This is the kickoff video. I wanna keep these under 30 minutes and if I keep going, this will be a 30 minute section on its own. So tomorrow we will outline my diet. I already gave you my macros. We'll outline my training and then we'll outline my TRT, HRT, and we'll outline why we're doing this and what shows we're aiming for. But um, keep an eye on this. We'll have some training later in this, uh, in this install. Today's back day. So I'm doing squats later today. I squat every single day, but I'm, I'm going to give all my energy to back. And I just drove in from Ohio. So this is a great reverse hyper machine. And you got to realize your back isn't just rows. Your back is also from your hamstrings all the way up your posterior chain. So what this does, it allows you to lift from your legs, you can track, and really work your erectors in your lower back. Um, what I do on these, I'll do two sets with like a uh, plate on each side. I usually go up to two plates on each side. And just really go for a nice smooth contraction. But I do swing it over because I find it gives me a nice stretch at the bottom, which really helps me. So, come on. So here's what I do here. So you notice I just did one plate for two sets, two plates for two sets, now I'm doing one plate again. I have a rule you're gonna see where if I put plates on, I have to take one plate off at a time. And basically, so let's say if I do 315 on rows, I'll do a set of 225 and a set of 135 after that. Because I figure if you're gonna take the weight off, you gotta earn it. So every plate you take off, you gotta do a set, almost like a drop set. My workout style is pretty simple. 
I work up from 135 to 225 to 315. Then I work back down to 225 to 135. I have the same rep scheme, same everything. And what I do here is my max set is my max set. Now I was really tired from not getting a lot of sleep. I had five total hours of sleep due to Black Friday weekend. Um, so I didn't get much. I usually go up to 405 on that. Now, these I normally do unsupported, but when I go supported, I go really heavy. Look at the squeeze. These are 200 pound dumbbells. If you've never held a 200 pound dumbbell in your hand, they're extremely friggin' heavy, man. They're extremely heavy. If you see, I have my uh, eggplant emoji um, underpants on. I think maybe that is the key to strength and gains. Now with these, this is all volume. We use every single mag grip attachment, wide, mid, and close. Here's close. And we actually do um, four, three to four sets of each. So 12 total sets of pull down. All volume. Um, just going for the squeeze, the contraction, really working the insertion of the lats. This is my favorite, favorite mid-back workout. Love it. Look at the contraction. Look, I'm barely using my arms. It's 100% all back, all squeeze. Take the arms out of it. This just felt good, man. Good workout. So this is the find of the century. It's at Aldi. Everybody always complains about the price of grass-fed beef. Look at that. 529 a pound. 85.15. We're going to buy all Six, seven, eight. Well, let's leave a couple behind. Nine, ten. There we go. So this is our haul from Aldi right here. Check it out. This is my stuff. The bread, 35 calories per slice. The uh, free range eggs, sweet potatoes, and the ground beef. The rest of it is for kids and stuff, man. But this, Aldi, is the best place to buy stuff that we want to eat. The free range eggs, the grass fed beef. It's the best place to buy it at a great price. Guys, as you know, we're moving in the next month. All right, I ain't hiding that from anybody. So we're in the basement going through some stuff. And here's my kids. And I showed them something. I want to show y'all and then I want to get y'all, I want to get the reaction. Who's that sexy hunk of man right there? Look at that. Oh wait, guys, you haven't seen it all. Oh God. Oh, ah. look at the tricep horseshoe. Look at that, look at that shoulder, look at that calf. <laughs> Men's Fitness Magazine, what, what, what year is this? Oh God. Um, this is September 2003. I was 22 years old, which makes me 26 right now. Sweet potatoes are absolutely one of the best carbohydrate sources, super high in potassium, micronutrients, much better than rice. I don't like rice. Rice is just lacking macronutri micronutrients. And if I'm going to have a carb source, I want it to have macronutrients. So what I, what I do is I spray these trays that have tin foil on them. I spray them with avocado oil or coconut oil, just some kind of spray, or I just line it. And what I do is put down a layer of salt. I really salt the hell out of the bottom. Salt brings out the flavor in the sweet potatoes. And what I do to chop them, cut off the ends. I leave the skin on. I make sure I clean the skin. All right, then I just cut it in. Two little circles, boom, 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 boom. And I get that going on and I bake it for about 45 to 60 minutes at 425. And they come out so crisp, so delicious. And the, I'm making six sweet potatoes at the moment. I just put on a line bake, baking sheet and this gives me my carbs for a couple days, you know? And so I do these, um, I get these obviously from Aldi, you saw that before. But I'll do this, you know, once or twice a week and that makes sure that I always have carbs. I usually have these for breakfast. Um, I either have this or toast. Um, so I have 350 grams of carbs right now per day. And I like to fill in a good portion. I remember four ounces of cooked sweet potato is a good 30 grams of carbs. So if I want 60 grams, I get eight ounces. That gives me a good amount of sweet potatoes. And then I throw in my veggies, you know, fun stuff, outright bars, toast, things like that. I eat probably four to six outright bars a day you're gonna see. But this is my favorite meal. So again, you cut them into these nice little circles, right? They come out so good. So you'll see how these look when they're done. Pro tip, since uh, sweet potatoes have their own natural sugar, you don't have to add any sweetener to it. Putting a little cinnamon on top. Now remember, cinnamon helps with blood sugar regulation, helps with a lot of things. And also, I like my sweet potatoes to be like a dessert, right? I even put some whipped cream on it once in a while because it is, after all, bulking season, right? So I'll go ahead and throw this on there. 
and it bakes in. And you'll notice when it starts to caramelize, you'll see at the end, the cinnamon just makes a nice texture and it makes it even healthier. There's the finished product right there. Let's turn it on. Oh, there it is. A little bit of cinnamon. Sweet potatoes, these will be better than anything you will ever buy. It's like a sweet potato fry, but there's really no junk on it. It's just damn good. So I squat daily, check it out. So what I'm doing today is I did 135 for five, 185 for three, 225 for two, 275 for one, 315 for one. And then I go back, I go 275 for one, 225 for two, 185 for three, 135 for five. This is my um, everyday squats. I usually do that. Sometimes I go up to 425, sometimes I go up to you know, 465, 475, um, but today I'm taking it easy. I just got back traveling, I'm lacking sleep. So whatever happens, whether I do it during my workout or later in the day, I always squat every single day. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Look who I ran into in LA. Good to meet you. I've been watching your videos a long time. Tell everybody about this protein bar. So it's the Outright Bar, man. It's all natural ingredients made with real food. None of that, you ever, you ever want to work out, you want just a little snack, a little bar before training, but you know the other bars might give you gut bomb. Right. This is something that doesn't have any prebiotic fiber, no glycerin, no sugar alcohols. It's whole, real food. That is a tasty bar. Really? It's easy to eat. It's not too chewy. You normally eat something like this with a big ass glass of milk. <laughs> That's good. So it's like a cookie. Really good. It's not good. If you want, we also have the, want to try the almond butter one while we're here? I'd love to. All right, so this is, bar. this is made with almond butter, Steve. That's a winner, too. Really? It's badass. Yeah. Good protein bars, working people find these. Well, they can find it at any retail stores. You can find it at tigerfitness.com. Two badass protein bars, so they get uh, two double uh, metal fingers up <laughs> from Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's the bottom line.